Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for pricing details. Today, we're discussing a lovely dress watch from Breguet. This is the Breguet Classique. 5177 in white gold it is the Grand Faux Enamel version. So, 38 millimeters in diameter in white gold. The watch is impressively only 8.9 millimeters thick and 46 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. On my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, the Classique 5177 is classically beautiful. You can see it's super flat and fits easily underneath the cuff, and because it's only 46 millimeters lug to lug, this watch could be worn by a man or a woman, and I believe a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference could wear it well. You can see on my 16 centimeter wrist, it's a perfect match. The timepiece has a strap that is a large rectangular scale alligator leather matte finish black monotone stitch. There's a little bit of bolstering or stuffing to give it volume. There's a folded edge, there's calfskin on the bottom, and you can see this is a brand new Breguet factory strap. The strap is held to the case using screws and bars. You can see the little set screw that holds the bar in place. This is a very secure and somewhat more expensive solution than a spring bar, but it's what you would expect on an expensive timepiece like this. We have a buckle that is white gold to match the watch, and you can see it is a simple polished pin buckle appropriate to a timepiece such as this, and it too is held on by screws and bars. The lugs are welded into place, an upscale and old-fashioned way of making a case. The case and the lugs are made separately. There are slots in the case band. The lugs are inserted in, welded in, and then evidence of the remaining gathered material from the weld that's taken away to create this beautifully sharp break between the coined case band and the lug. The lug's polished, the bezel's polished, the case back's polished. The case is cold rolled and then hand finished to create this coining and the beautiful polish. We have a Breguet logo on the crown. The dial uses a gold base, on top of which vitreous paint or glass-based paint enamel is applied, up to 20 applications and 20 firings at 800 degrees Celsius, during which the dial can bubble, it can crack, it can explode. The rejection rate on enamel is high, and it's difficult to achieve an even glaze through all of those layers, which is why this remains a craft art executed at the manual level. Look carefully, and I'll do my best to show you this, and you can see that there is a laser-etched Breguet signature down at 6 o'clock, the secret signature on the dial. We have lovely Breguet-style Arabic numerals, and we have little indices outboard for reading the seconds and the minutes. If you note, there's a little flourish outboard of each numeral that's different from the standard asterisk. We also have steel hands that have been fired blue, and they are Breguet style hands. We have a stop seconds function, so if you wish you can stop the watch and set it precisely to a reference time. And we have a quick set system. Note that they also used a Breguet style Arabic numeral for the date. Taking a quick look at the case back, we have caliber 777Q. This is a Breguet manufacture movement. All Breguet movements are designed by Lamagna. Lamagna is manufacture Breguet. They're fully integrated within the Swatch group. So this is a manufacture movement in the strictest sense. Taking a quick look, we have a lovely guilloche pattern across the white gold winding rotor, beautifully executed. It gives way to a movement that includes handsome mirrored beveling. And if you look adjacent uh, to this reduction wheel in the winding system, you can see not one but two sharp interior angles where bevels meet. That's difficult to achieve, and I've seen some Geneva Hallmark movements that don't even include one such angle. We have perfectly aligned Côte de Genève, or stripes, across the bridges, and you can see we have black polished screws with chamfered slots and circumference. We also have engine-turned perlage on the base plate, satination on the wheels, and quite a few technical refinements. This automatic winder has a 55-hour power reserve. It is free-sprung for durability and precise adjustment. You can see that the watch uses a recessed bolt aerodynamic balance to remove the effect of aerodynamic drag on the timing of the watch. Again, we have a free sprung watch. I'll wind it up a little bit more to get the action going again. The timepiece includes a silicon hairspring 
And that's not the end of it. The silicon hairspring gives it phenomenal resistance to temperature-induced timing deviation and also magnetism. But if you look carefully, you could see that the escapement is also made of silicon. It's a bit of a hybrid escapement as it still uses conventional synthetic ruby pallet stones. But the idea here is to reduce friction, reduce mass, reduce the impact of magnetism, and reduce the need for lubricants, and all of those are achieved here. So technically speaking, this is a very impressive movement. It has what's called a high beat rate or a modern beat rate of eight beats per second or 28,800 vibrations per hour, and it pivots on 26 joules. Beautifully decorated, technically impressive, and caged within a handsomely classical watch that will stand the test of time. Reach out to tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. I know if you must know, 30 meters water resistant, but don't test the theory.